meet you. Wow. Get drunk during the day. That's such a good idea. <laughs> hey. well, she looked a bit different than I expected. Wait, wait one sec. <laughs> My name is Danielle and I'm 27 year old. My name is Robert. I'm 35 uh, years old, as of yesterday. Um, I work here in Amsterdam, four days in a clothing shop. I also sell food supplements, so I don't age a lot. Uh, I'm a filmmaker and photographer. Uh, in my free time, uh, I shop, I go out with my friends, have drinks, uh, all the regular things that a girl does in her free time, you know. I like to work out, do sports, um, game, go out with my friends and just lay on the couch. I think I do, but not with all the wrinkles and stuff, you know, I think I still want to be charming. I hope so. I hope I will keep some of that youthful, like, open-mindedness to really let myself go in love. When I first stepped out of the cabin to see myself, I was totally shocked. I didn't have nice lips anymore, everything was gone, so I was, I was shocked by that. Oh my god, this is how I look with my tattoos when I'm like freaking almost 90. This is just, just really scary. Oh dear, oh my god. Seeing myself in the mirror was like, was, it was really a shock. Where's my jaw? You know, like seeing that your jawbone is gone, like that all of a sudden you're, you're wider, and there's all these bags and wrinkles in your face. <sighs> That's so shocking. Okay, I'm ready to go on a date, I think. We were sitting on these chairs with the, with the back towards each other. And we had to turn around and then all of a sudden I saw Danielle. Oh my god. Hi. Hi. Danielle. I'm Robert. Hello. Nice to meet you. Wow. It's just really strange to see someone you don't know first as an old guy. It's crazy. You're looking beautiful. Yeah, right. Well, you're looking really old, but I can see your... I, I, I look really old. I, I've seen myself. It was a bit of a shock. Yeah, and now we're still on our shock of being old, and then we have to see each other, aren't we? Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course, Danielle was an old woman, but I immediately felt like, yeah, it's a nice energy. I really want to know what's underneath all that makeup. We shall see later. <laughs> When we walked outside, we saw two beautiful scootmobiles there and we were like, wow, this is going to be fun. Hi there, old versions of yourself. As a date, you're going to an exciting location. You will go on these sexy scooters, but first you need to find it. And because of old people <laughs> don't know how to use GPS, you will have to find it the old fashioned way by asking people. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> I don't really know. A forward, backward. Yeah, no, no, just turn it back. <laughs> Super afraid. I was like, oh my god, do we, I really have to drive that thing in Amsterdam with all the traffic? Shall okay. we go? Yeah, okay, but we don't know where the brake is, right? Uh, but in, like in a, in, a, in, a, in a blink of an eye, I was like, let's go for it. What the hell? I'm going, I'm going. Oh, what is this? <laughs> go on. We were so badass when we were driving on our scoot mo mobile thingies and like smoking and be badass. So we were driving and we were asking people for directions and uh, had fun and then at one point Danielle's scootmobile just broke down. And I was like, oh no, what to do? And we were standing in the middle of the road and the car wanted to go past and I was like, oh, no, no, no. 
And I was oh yeah, thank God, because it was, I think like, what could be more romantic than like to have her on my lap and then drive the Scootmobile together. It's the ultimate uh, romantic date for an uh, old person. I mean, oh, it's oh, so don't crash it. You have arrived. You're going to something a lot of old people like to do, get drunk during the day. Hell, hell. You're going to have a wine tasting together. Ooh. Oh, that's such a great day. That's such a good idea. So we arrived at the wine tasting and uh, there was this uh, really nice guy who was explaining everything about wines and we had some good talks. And normally I'm really good in like tasting the wines and be really busy with all of that but I think it was just a situation that I was more busy with talking to him. It's really funny because I really love wine. Wait, wait one sec. Like if we, if this date would have been a cinema date, I would mm -hmm. be like really sneaky, like put my arm like this. But now oh. I, I, so I think I'll just say it. Really Can gentle. I sit next to you? I thought that was really nice gesture. Yeah, we had such a great time, and but we still had like um, some distance between, and so it was really nice to be close to him for a second and maybe feel how we were together. Yeah, yeah, I really like that. I was led into this room with a basket and there was like a, a set of artificial teeth on the top and basically what we had to do is use the artificial teeth to either make a smiley or a sad face um, to like indicate if I want to have another date with Danielle. When I had to uh, choose with the teeth um, I obviously didn't know what his appearance was so I just had to go on my feeling. After our date we had to turn again on our seats and see each other. It was again the same setting as in the beginning. Also, we were back to back. And then at one point we turned around. <laughs> hey! <laughs> so funny. So I've got red hair. Yes. Oh, it looks foxy on you. It's nice. Oh, it's you look a bit different than I expected. That's really? interesting. Well, I thought maybe you had like long hair or something like that. Or but long hair. Yeah, I don't know. It was also really funny to have a first date and not see uh, how somebody looks. It's really funny, oh yeah, my it god. It's really funny. Really funny because if if you see him like he is normally, I probably wouldn't really date him or he wouldn't like come across my eye even. She looked a bit different than I expected. Actually, she looks even better than I expected. She was beautiful. She's a really nice girl. More the bearded, long hair, rocker dudes, musicians. That's what I like. But yeah, I think we really had a connection. We had such a good time. Well, I like what I see. <laughs> well, me too. <laughs> so it was really, really fun to see how that works. So maybe we should yeah. look if we, if we want to have another date. Another date, date? okay. Three, two, one. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> we should have another date and have a drink and finish it. And that, finish maybe it. Maybe that's a good idea. And dating as an old person, I think that was one of the best experiences ever. It was already nice when we were old. Why would it not be nice if we were young? Uh, I think this was the best date I ever had. Hi guys, we're having our second date here. We're having really a lot of fun. Yeah, I think maybe this will work out. Yes, I'm pretty sure. Cheers! 